Welcome to episode 597 of my Let's Play. That is a big number, three away from another world tour. Oh boy, I don't even know how I'm gonna approach this one. You see, realistically, I want my world tour, oh hi Peewee, to be all in one video. Like, I'd like it to be a two hour, I could just stream it, but if I don't cut the video, it would be like a six hour long video. <laughs> ah, I'll see what I'm gonna do. Today we're gonna be working around home again because there's certain things I wanna try. For example, bringing age to this area. And you know what I'm gonna do? These trees have been planted here for so long I want to get rid of them and build a custom tree, but a dead custom pine tree. I know it sounds interesting, it'll probably make this place look less alive, but I think it'll look cool. I've been wanting to do this forever, but I hate custom trees. So I'm gonna get over that fear today and just attack it head on. I think I'm gonna do that one first. This is actually kind of tough because I know these trees are very old. I planted these way back when we got double spruce trees, mega tiger trees. Oh look, snow. Forgot I had those up here. Bob, get out of my roses. But yeah, the idea is, okay, I'm gonna take this down and they're gonna be a little bit bigger, but a lot of them, since they are dying for whatever reason, I'm sure I'll come up with some sort of lore explaining it. But this one, I wanna make a little crooked. It's gonna go up a little bit sideways as if it's falling over. The hardest part about this is, is once it's cut down, it's gone forever and I'm not that good at building custom trees. So if it turns out bad, I don't know. Calm down. Are there that many witches nearby? Where? Oh, I kind of forget I have a whole mob spawner above my house. But anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually really liking this. So I got that perfect slant I wanted down. Um, now I'm gonna begin, so I guess I'm gonna go for a spruce tree fashion. Again, this is gonna be huge compared to these. And these are actually gonna have branches. Maybe by the end, I'll actually want to put leaves on it, but I think I'm really going to like this idea of just a bunch of standing dead pines around. It almost kind of like menacing in a way. Maybe the lore can be, I planted this tree and it sucked all the life out of all the trees around here. Ooh, there's snow gathering on top of it. Okay, I'm going to finish the branches on it. Okay, a little more of an update. It's starting to look a little creepy, but those branches actually look kind of cool. I'm starting to get into trap doors a little bit more on trees. And when you place them all willy nilly like this, it actually, I could even do more on them to make them look more realistic. But yeah, I'm gonna do them all the way to the tippity top, but I'm really digging this. Wherever I have these spruce trees, I, I wanna do this. Okay, how are we looking? I believe I'm done. Oh man. Oh man, that looks good. I sound somewhat disappointed because now I know I'm gonna want to build them in all the places of those. And this was a challenge. Probably like playing around on it for an hour, but that looks so good. Imagine those just dotted all over the place. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of that one and just make a, a straight vertical one here. I think that'll look pretty good. I actually don't know if they added it yet, so I'm probably wasting my time here. Yeah. Is that how you diet? Or would it, I don't know. Is it like this? Okay, they just didn't add it yet, great. You see, this is why I wish every version just got updated the same, or maybe it's just in the beta. See, that's also the other thing. I don't like that there's an experimental features and a beta, so it's just hard to keep track of what they add to the game. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm making my other tree here. This one's looking a little squiggly as well, but it's not necessarily leaning in one direction. It's just kind of, it decided to, but then now it's going back this way. Oh yeah, these are gonna look cool over here. Spooky tree number two finished. They do look pretty spooky. Perhaps this would have been better if it was a Halloween themed video, but I'm liking them. Now we do have three trees over here. And now that I've built these, I really don't like the look of these. Maybe I'll make one over here and then put stumps where the other two were. Is that little room still here? Oh my gosh. What the? Oh my god, I forgot all about this. What is even in here? Cobble? Holy Minecraft Pocket Edition throwback. <gasps> There's coal in one of them. I think I was about to build like a castle on top of this hill. As crazy as that sounds. I wonder how weird that would have looked. All right, update on my third creepy tree. <laughs> I mean, I say update, but I just build the whole thing and I'm like, there it is. I'm not done with this one yet though. I need to fiddle around with the top bit, but do you guys like them? I really, I feel like I'm bi biased because I'm really digging this dead tree look. Remember, we have a dead oak tree over there too. Ignore the floating house. 
That was future Dallas, if you didn't catch that episode. I'm liking them. Maybe we can hang lanterns off chains from them, too. Okay, here's the final result of this tree. I am pretty satisfied. I can't... Ah, I just want to make more. Like, I'm exhausted of making these trees, but... When I look at the final result, I kind of just want them everywhere. Ooh, this is a good view of both of them back here walking up this road. This tree over here is a little small, but no, no, it's fine. I also like this view, walking down here, and I walk down this all the time. You get just got this great view of that one right there. I almost feel like I need one, like, behind this tree. Or, no, this tree is too iconic. This has been here forever. I was going to say I could plant one right here, a smaller one. But anyway, if we head over to my test world... Oh, there's a tree. You know what? I never turn up my render distance in my test... No, let's go up here. 60 chunks. Wow, there's nothing. I'm just kidding, it's all back here. Oh, we can look at that in a second. I haven't updated you on my test world in a bit. But, if you remember last episode, I was talking about making dwarven ruins from Skyrim. And this is what I came up with in my test world. And I am pretty satisfied with this. This looks really cool. Obviously, in Skyrim, they more use like gold. I don't think they use actual gold, but it was like some sort of goldy metal. I think since we now have an abundance of copper, this would be a great look. Now, this is what a structure would be like on the outside ground, that would be the entrance to the inside. But when we build this, we can then make some steampunk tunnels underground. And if you don't know what the Dwimmer were from Skyrim, it's basically like a steampunk medieval race. And it's super cool. So let me know your thoughts on that. Well, this test world has come a long way. There is a lot of stuff here. It's sad to think that our test world, this one, could be like four times bigger than this, but we've had to create multiple different test worlds to them bugging out. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to know, do you guys want me to do a world tour of my test worlds too? It can just be one whole video of running through every test world I have showing all the creations I've ever made. I think that would be pretty fun. As I've mentioned before, sometimes I watch my old videos as I'm making a video. Well, when I'm working on something on here, and currently I'm on episode 240. It's just nostalgic for me to go back and look at old videos. And, oh man, I miss how excited I used to be for new features. I mean, I actually, I still get excited, but it's been a while since I've felt that feeling. I think I'm going to try to limit myself for the next updates to not play with experimental features and just wait for the whole update to come out, but, uh, I got a feeling that's going to be so difficult. Especially as a content creator, because it's important for me to try to get my hands on the new f Okay, just forget I said all that. These old episodes are just making me feel nostalgic. Okay, now I do not remember what episode this was, but do you remember right here I made a, a dead tree here before? And it turned out so good. But what happened? Where'd it go? Honestly, where did it- I think I- Okay, I think I had to revert back to a save. I think that's what happened, um, but yeah, simple as that. I'm going to get rid of this one and do the same thing with those trees. And I gotta remember, I gotta slant it this way because I love the view of my house right there, so I don't want it to get in the way of that. I'm getting a little distracted, but like I said, I'm currently watching some of my older episodes. And on episode 242, we went camping again, our second camping trip. And look, here's our first little campsite. <laughs> and I brought Liam with me, and oh my gosh, I still... The most haunting episode to me because it's probably the most brutal and saddest way I have ever died in Minecraft. It is honestly my worst death in Minecraft. Go watch it if you don't know. But it has me thinking. We have not gone camping in forever because every camping trip we've been on, we've lost a dog. Now we have wolf armor. That just excites me because we could bring some OG dogs and not risk them dying. And I heard the new wolf armor is like unbelievably strong, but it can break quick because it can like absorb 100% of its damage. Man, there's still a creeper out here from when I camped here five years ago. That's wild. But here's my second camping spot. We're going down memory lane here real quick. I camped here and almost lost Liam due to some skeletons. Let's go find the third spot. Still saplings on the ground from five years ago. But this right here next to this tree was the third and final camping spot. And then I believe I headed over here to a village. Wow, look at that transition right there. <laughs> it's trying to load in some old terrain with new. Yeah, I looted up this place, but not apparently not that well. I should have not left that behind. And Bob is still here. He was following me through that whole adventure, Bob. Oh, looky there, you know what? 41, oh wait, you won't give me that many though. You gave me one? One. What is wrong with this game? They say they're gonna rebalance trading to make it better, and then they do that. Just one emerald. So you're telling me Bob only had one emerald in his pocket? Or he was just so stingy? Is it still in here? Yeah. Look at me leaving stuff behind I didn't know was rare. <laughs> 
Uh, and here's the temple. What do you know? You know what? Instead of making you go dig around in some old episodes, I'll just show you what happened. <laughs> I don't really consider us being far until we're over 5,000 blocks away. And we're not even... We're j just about 4,000 blocks away in one direction. <laughs> one direction. Hmm. No. Yeah. As brutal as deaths come. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, is it raining? But yeah, this has really inspired me. This is why I go back and watch my old episodes. So next episode, I want to do the same thing. I don't know if I did a third camping trip. I'm not sure. If I did, then this will be my fourth, but I'll go back and look. But yeah, next episode, we're going to get an OG dog, throw some armor on him, and do another realistic camping trip. It'll all be explained next episode. And if you didn't know, the main reason for these is to gather resources. Whoa, my train tracks. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Um, so I'll decide what resource I want to primarily gather in that episode Next episode, so uh, yeah, now let's get back. We have a tree to build I am still getting used to that floating house I think I want to go put some scaffolding under it like some sort of operation to look like I climbed my way up there And I'm studying it because not having a way up there, but only a light wings looks a little strange But here's our tree <laughs> Yeah, it just looks like the others, but I'm Absolutely okay with that. I just love the contrast from this dark wood to my house. It looks good coming up this road. And it looks cool coming from this way too. Okay, I'm done building the trees, but I think I'm gonna do it on this one actually. I am going to make a chain hang from this one and put a cage on it as if it's been there for years. Maybe I was gonna use it to trap someone like Bob. <laughs> I think I'll do it off this branch. It's gonna sound weird, but I've developed this fear every episode to go look for a comic question of the day. And the reason for that is, is because, well, it's no surprise that my videos kind of have been getting less and less views, like drastically. For a while I was averaging 30K, then I dropped down to 20K, and now I'm just averaging 10K a video. And I'm always so scared because I kind of don't reply to comments that much anymore either is because I'm so scared to click on my latest video and see how poor the views are. <laughs> so now that I'm getting ready to come up and go look for the comment question of the day, I'm kind of just like scared to go look that it only has like 10,000 views. And I'm like, oh gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> I've been trying to find ways to fix it. Everyone always tells me it's like I need to expand to making shorts and stuff. That is an option, but I've done TikToks before and I've uploaded like 20 of them and I thought they were decent, but I don't know, they just don't catch on. And I despise the TikTok style of videos. Maybe I need to get over that. I always try to find new people to join my videos by doing episode ones a lot as well. That's why I think I'm going to start a new hardcore series here in a couple episodes. That's not the only reason I want to start it. I also enjoy playing hardcore. Also, did you hear hardcore is coming to Bedrock finally? That's pretty cool. Does this even look good? I don't even think it does. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just thought I'd share that with you. Like every time I'm about to go check my comment question of the day for the last video, like my heart sinks a little because I'm like, oh God, I have to check how many less views I got this time. <laughs> kind of blends in with the house a little bit, but it kind of looks cool. I don't know. I might leave it there. On the other trees, I might just do chains with lanterns hanging from them. That looks pretty good in RTX too. This one is a little bit shorter. Since this branch of this pink tree gets in the way, I think I'm gonna rise this one up a bit. While I do it, I'll answer the common question of the day from Eligriv Maitre Constructor. This is a very important question we don't hear enough. How are you? Life, project, family? Well, thank you for being concerned about how I am doing. I appreciate that. Um, I'm actually doing pretty good. To be honest with you, being 100% honest, I'm actually doing really good. There's only one thing recently that I'm like, something's missing in my life, and I just couldn't figure it out for the life of me. I'm like, oh, something's just missing. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, you can see the tree from here. I need a little bit more on the tippity top. And then I realized it. For the longest time, like, I, I like video games. That's simply it. And I was, for the longest time, telling myself that I need to make more Minecraft videos. So when I feel the sudden urge to sit down and play a game on my Xbox, I always told myself, no, you don't need to be doing that when you could be playing a game and being productive such as Minecraft. And I've told myself that for like the past, maybe like five or six months. So I kind of forced myself to sit down and play a game I've been really kind of itching to play and that's Skyrim again. And boy, oh boy, have I been having a blast. Like, <laughs> but I'm making sure it's not getting in the way of my uploads. Like I do it on my downtime and I'm really glad I did that. I don't care how old I'll get, I'll always be a gamer at heart. It's just one of my favorite things 
But yeah, thanks for looking out and asking how I'm doing. I appreciate that. Is that even tall enough? That's eh, a little bit taller. It'll do. I want you right there. While we're here, we'll thank some donos as well. Oh, you donated that last episode. Ryan is just one crazy individual. But Elliot Russell, thank you for your dono. I realized you have two L's, two T's, two S's, and two L's. I was about to ask if that makes your life more difficult, but I think that would make it easier for you to remember. Well, I'm sure you don't remember how to misspell your name. I wonder how often people misspell your name. But yeah, thank you for that. And Christopher Babcock, thank you for your dono as well. That's a new name. I appreciate the support. Same as Samuel Valadez. I don't think I've ever seen that name before. Thank you for that big dono too. That was very kind. Does that look weird? The thing about these trees, you don't want too much symmetry. So I did the same thing on either side, but they are on different levels, but it still looks a little strange. And Jasper Steeman with a huge 50 once again. Oh wait. Jasper, are you, is that the Jasper I'm thinking of? You're the, you're the guy that gives me the stuff, right? I forgot all about that. I appreciate the support so much. Okay, that one can face down. Thank you so much for that, Jasper. I really do appreciate it. That looks a little better. Do you guys even like these trees? Like, <laughs> I'm just sitting here building them this whole time and I'm just constantly thinking, they're probably not gonna like this. It's a pretty drastic change for this OG area, but honestly, I think it's way better than those just default trees. And Charles Brown, once again, with another dono. Thank you so much, Charles. I've wasted probably like three stacks of rockets just building all these trees because you constantly have to fly around it to make sure it looks good at every angle. That was the problem with this tree. I focus so much on this angle right here that it looks great right here. But when you get around like below it a bit and kind of look up, see how weird and wonky it looks? I didn't really test it over here too often. The other trees I did though, this one looks pretty good. I might leave these stumps here and make them look better. Those were those other trees were, but either way, uh-oh. I didn't test this angle. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. The trap doors just weren't loading in. That was it. <laughs> this is a fun little episode. Next episode, we're going to go camping, and I think it's going to be pretty fun. I have some ideas. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for all the support and donos, likes, subscribes. Whoa, I just now realized they added it where when you're looking at yourself in third person, you can actually go through glass now. That's cool. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.